Look there, Kimitani. Them see something. Maybe just dead coyote. Well, maybe. Let's find out. Shot in the back. Uh, his father won the biggest ranches in territory, King of What's that by his hand? It looked like Mark him making dust before him dying. Three leaf clover. Maybe him tried to leave food to who okay. Looks like a brand. I've never heard of the clover leaf brand before in this part of the country. That uh, marks of two horses, King of Look close. That rear shoe have two nails missing. Yes, second and the fifth. Not this one, Kimisabi. Must be killer's horse have two nails missing. I know it doesn't add up. Cloverleaf in the dust, horse with a loose shoe. We better take Will home. Will! Oh, hello, Matt. Come in. You seen that boy of mine around? He ain't back yet, Mr. Yeomans. Left about 11 o'clock last night. Said he was gonna ride the range, see if he couldn't catch them rustlers. <laughs> and you let him go alone? <laughs> you know Will, Mr. Yeomans. He says he's going alone, he's going alone. Ain't no two ways about it. That sounds like Will, all right. That reckless young rascal. <laughs> you wouldn't want him one bit different, Mr. Yeomans. You just like him. Worse, maybe. Matt, you know me too well. <laughs> there goes that dead rat at piano again. You never have to worry where that younger one of mine is, Matt. But there's one thing you know. He's not out chasing rustlers. No, sir, not that one. <laughs> oh, Tom's all right. He's just different, that's all. He's not different. He's just spoiled. You know that he's been pampered and petted by his ma after the day she died? Yes. Come in. Hello, Mr. Yeoman. How are you, mister? Tonto? Afraid we have bad news for you. Your son, Will, has been killed. Talk fast, mister. What happened? Put that gun away, Matt. I know this man. Who did it? We not know. We found Will's body in the rocks about two miles east of here. We brought Will home. In the rocks? That's over at Ben Ransom's place, Mr. Yeomans. Ransom? I warned you he was rustling your cattle. Now he's killed your son. Have every man on the place saddle up, Matt. Ben Ransom can't kill my boy and get away with it. Just a minute, Mr. Yeomans. If Ben Ransom did kill your son, it's a job for the law, not for personal vengeance. The law, mister? If I'd have had to wait for the law around here to settle my disputes, I'd have been wiped out 50 years ago. This is the law around here. Judge, jury, and executioner. And it's all wrapped up into one. I thank you for bringing my boy home. Now I'll thank you if you'll take your leave. Bring your home so we have no choice. If you attempt to take the law into your own hands, you'll be running into a great deal of trouble. Get moving, both of you. Come on, Tom. I have the boys take care of Will, Mr. Yeomans. Thank you, Matt. Dad, that masked man is right. You're not siding against your father, are you, son? Well, no, but I think we should wait. Let the marshal take over. Tom, he's your brother. He's dead. And you talking like this? Why, if it had been you instead of Will that was killed, why, he wouldn't have hesitated a minute. Tom, what is the real reason you want to wait for the marshal? Could it be you are afraid to face Ben Ransom? Well, is it? You know that isn't true. Well, here, prove it. Put this on. Here, man, I'm not going after Ben Ransom. Tom is. That is, unless you'd rather stay in that play that piano. Well? Ben Ransom's going to town today, Tom. You'll find him there. Matt, take a couple of men and go with him. I want him to show some spunk, but I don't want him hurt. Do you understand? Sure, boss. Here they come. Unless I'm greatly mistaken, they're gunning for Ben Ransom. It's Tom Yeoman's in the lead. You a fine young man, Kim Sammy. Not like him to gun for anybody. But I like Tom. I'd hate to see him turn killer. Now they're heading for town. We better follow. Saloon, isn't it? Uh, Tom Yeoman's in town, Ben. Him and that former theirs, and two riders. What about it, Joe? Uh, they're gunning for you, Ben. For me? Why? What did they allow I've done this time? They found Will. Dead. Over 
and them rocks on your place. Shot in the back he was. They say you done it. Where is Tom now, Joe? Saloon. They were just having their last drink. Except in Tom, he weren't drinking. I thank you for telling me, Joe. I'll be waiting right here. <laughs> Terrible things, these fights. Terrible. <laughs> I'll tell Tom, Ben. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Thank you, Harper, boys. Tom! Tom, I found Ben for you. Where is he, John? In the general store. Well, let's go. No, no, no. Stay here, man. All of you. But your paw said... If it's something I've got to do, I'll do it alone. Chance, Ben. Reach for your gun. You like that, wouldn't you, Tom? Then you could call it self-defense. Shooting a man in hot blood is one thing. But killing him in cold blood, that's something else. Some men can do it. Or is that killers? But you ain't, Tom. You ought to be grateful you ain't. Take that gun of yours now. Give it to me. Tom! Put away your gun. This isn't right, and you know it. If you don't, you regret it the longest day of your life. Thanks, stranger. I don't know who you are, but you just saved a life. Maybe two of them. Hey, Tom! What happened, boy? Did you get cold feet? Yellow, that's what he is, yellow! <laughs> You hear that? Jeering is a man because he's too decent to commit murder. Kimisabe, look there. A hoof print with two nails missing from shoe. That same hoof print we find in his body. The horse that made it came from Yeoman's own ranch. One of those four men killed Will Yeoman's. Couldn't have been Tom. He was riding Will's horse. Maybe one of ranch hands. We'll find out before the day is over. Come on. So much the better. I want to be in that stable when they get back. Let's go. Listen, then come back. Gun him down, boy, did you? Let's go in the house, Dad. I want to talk to you alone. Put up my horse, Matt. Sure, Tom. Well, did you or didn't you? Just hear it? So you admit it. You backed down from Ben Rex. Why, you cringing little pup. Had them all laughing at you, calling you yellow. For 50 years I've been around here. No man ever dare call a yeoman yellow. Well, this is the first and the last time, Dad. Because you won't have to worry about it anymore. I'm leaving. Leaving? What do you mean? Just that. I don't belong here. I never did. You mean you're running out. Call it what you like. Would you want another will? Well, I'm not another will, and I'll never be another will. You call me a coward just because I couldn't shoot a man down in cold blood. If that's being a coward, then that's what I am. Sure, Will could have done it. Will could do anything. He could 
ride a wild horse, it can bulldog a steer, it can shoot a man down without blinking an eye? Well, I can't. I'll say goodbye to you later. Tom. Tom, if I'd seem to have been harsh with you, I, I, I'm sorry, but it's for your own sake, believe me. I'm an old man, and when I die, this whole ranch, one of the largest spreads in this territory, it's all going to be yours, and you've got to be tough enough to run it. This is a rough, tough country, and you've got to be just as tough as it is. Like will you mean? Live by the gun and die by the gun. Hold your tongue. I've held my tongue long enough. You and Will are 50 years behind the times. The laws come to this country, and the time for killing's over. But you and I will never see eye to eye on that. Will we, Dad? All right, get out, leave, go on. But let me tell you something. Don't think that you'll get one of your piano playing hands on a penny of my money, because you won't. Do you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Yes, Mr. Yeomans. I want you up the house, Matt, right now. You too, Al. Sam, drop everything you're doing. Hurry up now. Come on, hurry up. When he says right now, he means right now. That plenty of narrow escape, keep it me. Let's find that horse with two nails missing from his left hind shoe. Here, read this. Go on, Matt, read it. Read it out loud. I want uh, Al and Sam to be witness. I hereby will and bequeath my entire estate, same being the J.Y. Ranch and all its stock, to my faithful friend and employee, Matt Thorne. Mr. Yeomans. Me, the Hull Ranch? I, I just can't let you do it, sir. I know you'd feel that way about it, Matt, and try to talk me out of it. But that's the way I want it, and that's the way it's going to be. Here, you boys sign on the dotted line down here, will you? Right here. You know, Matt, you and I have been friends for 40 years. I can remember when you came to work for me, nothing more than a boy. And it was your sweat and toil just the same as mine. It helped make this spread to what it is today. No, I can't see it any other way, Matt. Just ain't nothing I can say, Mr. Yeoman. No nails missing here. This one, all right. This is Sam's horse. Oh, boy. Tom, look at this. Two nails missing. Matt Thorne's horse. Him killed Jeff Yeoman's son. Yeah, it looks that way. But why? Maybe Will Yeoman stumbled into something important. You'd better ride into town and bring the marshal back to our camp. What do you do, Kim Sammy? I'm going to search the ranch and then go over to the bunkhouse and look through Matt Thorne's gear. Maybe I'll find more evidence against him. You go alone? Don't worry. They're all up at the ranch house. I'll manage. Ride fast. to it. If no man changed his will once, he can do it again. Unless, unless what? Dead men can't change their wills, Al. Dead men? You mean old man Yeomans? <laughs> you think of everything, don't you, man? <laughs> Not quite everything. You back up real easy like and raise your hands. <laughs> Sam. He's out cold. Get him over to the barn. His horse ought to be around here someplace. We'll take him over to Ransom's place and dump him there with a couple of holes in him.
Good thing them bunkhouse walls is thick. The old man didn't hear the shooting. Looks like he's dead. Nah, he's still breathing, but not for long. Come on, let's saddle up. Go, Silver! No shooting here. The boss will hear it. That mess man will talk, Matt. Come on, let's saddle up. Hold it. By the time we saddle up, that white stallion will be miles away. He heard everything. He's on to us. He knows everything, Matt. Much good it'll do him. It's his word against ours. And who'd take the word of a masked man? You know the boss ordered him off the place this morning, don't you? Yeah, I sure do. Well, then stop your worry, and we're in the clear. Tomorrow morning, I'll take care of everything. Tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning, Al. You're going to come riding in from the range and say you saw Ben Ransom and a couple of his boys out at the rocks. Branding some yearlings. You got that? Why? Never mind why. Do as I say. Leave the rest to me. It's all right, Tonto. Just untie me. You hurt? Not badly. Matt Thorne got me before I found what I was looking for. But I heard plenty. If it wasn't for Silver, I'd been dead now. Where's the marshal? Him on way to court, Kimisabe. Him be gone two days. Me leave word. Him come later. Well, there may not be time. Matt Thorne is planning to murder Jeff Yeomans. Where and when, I don't know. We warn Yeomans? Well, it's no use. He wouldn't believe a word against Matt Thorne. Then what we do? Tano, I think Tom will listen. We'll talk to him in the morning. Let's get some rest. This will pay for it, Will. Mr. Owens, I just seen Ben Ransom and a couple of his boys out at the rocks, burning some yearlings. Looks like our stop. This is our chance to get him, Mr. Owens. We can catch him red-handed. You're right, Matt. Mount up. Dad, you said you were leaving, Tom. You'd better go back to the ranch and get your things. Tom. I tried to talk to him, but he wouldn't listen to reason. They've gone after Ransom now. Did Matt go with them? Matt, Al, and Sam. Al said that he saw Ben and his boys out at the rocks, branding cattle. The rocks? He just rode past those rocks. There's no one out there. Tom, this is a trap to murder your father. Murder Dad? I'm sure of it. I'll explain as we ride. But you said Ben and his men were out there branding cattle, Al. That's right, Mr. Yeomans. There's no sign of them, Matt. Not even the smoke from the branding fires. Just keep riding, Mr. Yeomans. Just a my father on, wasn't it, Al? Yep. Right around the next bend. Let's go. There's no one here, Matt. Matt! Get off your horse. Well, get this gun. What's the meaning of this, Matt? Like you said, Mr. Yeomans, it was my sweat and toil, as much as yours, that made the JY spread what it is today. Now that I got it, I ain't gonna take no chances on losing it. But, Matt, I'm making that will of yours final and binding, Mr. Yeomans. <laughs> I'm an old fool. Just a fool. Mr. Yones, now that Matt and his boys are safely in the Marshal's hands, I can show you how Matt Thorne and not Ben Ransom have been stealing your cattle. We find this branding iron in Matt's cabinet in Bunkhouse. As you can see, this brand is in the form of a three-leaf clover. Same as we find in dust, my boy's body. Now watch what happens when I place the brand over the JY brand.
That's the slickest thing I've ever seen. Matt Thorne had the Cloverleaf brand registered in his own name. And for months, he's been secretly changing the brand on the JY cattle. Them drive cattle over mountain and sell them. See, Mr. Yeomans, your son Will found out about this. It cost him his life. That's what Will tried to tell us when he made Cloverleaf and dust just before him died. Looks to me like I owe my neighbor, Ben Ransom, an apology. And above that, son, I owe you one, too. I've been an old fool, just an old fool. That's about as plain as I can say it. Tom, I hope you change your mind and decide to stay around, because, son, I need you. I've been waiting a long time to hear you say that, Dad. Sure. Sure, I'll stay. Mr. Yeomans, Tom, good luck. Thank you. Adios. I wish he would have stayed around a little longer, Dad. He won't wait around, son. He won't let you even thank him for what he does. He's the Lone Ranger. Will Silver! 